What's up guys? This is Tyler from the Harringtons and I'm back today with a brand new video and uh, I've been getting a lot of questions in from some of my previous videos I've posted about some of the stuff I have seen on my desk, some of the gear that I use, all that kind of stuff. So today I'm just going to give you a real quick walkthrough uh, through my desktop, all the stuff that I have on it um, and kind of why I use those different things. And just right off the bat, just so you guys know, I'm going to put a link in the description um, where you can go and you can see the kit of all the stuff that I use, where you can get the links to it, uh, see the exact specs and all that kind of stuff. So uh, make sure to check that out if you're interested in purchasing any of the stuff. Uh, and yeah, let's jump into it. So the first thing on my desk is the 27 inch iMac. This is the workhorse. This is where everything happens. And I absolutely love this computer. It is a late 2013 model, but if I were to buy one today, I would definitely buy the 5K Retina version. Um, I absolutely love this computer, the screen real estate, the power, you name it. This is the perfect computer for me. Next up, we have the Wacom Intuos Pro Medium. I started using a tablet instead of a mouse back when I was in college, and I literally cannot go back. It is the only way that I prefer to use a computer now, and it allows me to just do everything super quickly. I use it for photo editing, for video editing, and just for general computing. So I absolutely love this thing, and I can't live without it. Next up, we have the Lexar 4Bay Card Reader. Uh, this thing allows you to streamline your workflow, import four cards simultaneously, and it's through USB 3.0, so it's super fast. The bays are uh, interchangeable, so you can purchase different bays that go in that are different types of card slots. So I personally have four SD card bays and two CF card bays that I can interchange depending on what cards I'm shooting with, what cameras, etc. For hard drives and for all my working hard drives where I store all my current video projects that I'm actively working on, I use two Western Digital MyBook drives. They're each four terabytes and they are just a mirror of each other. So I'm only writing to one and then I use a program called Chronosync to automatically mirror the left one to the right one so I always have a backup. And uh, these are super fast, they're great, they're not that expensive and they have a huge capacity for storage. So once I'm finished working on a project, I'll move it onto my archive drive, which is a Drobo 5D. This thing is amazing. It has five different uh, hard drives in it that make up one giant hard drive that has redundancy built into it. Uh, I store and archive all my things on there throughout the entire course of the year. I get about 10 terabytes of storage on there. And I've been using Drobo for years. People give Drobo a lot of flack for some reason. Um, I personally have never had any problems with my Drobo. They've worked flawlessly, knock on wood. So uh, yeah, I love the Drobo and it's perfect for me for archiving. It's a little bit too slow, uh, even with the Thunderbolt version that I have to actually edit video off of. But as far as archiving and just storing all of my footage, it's perfect. And then lastly, in the hard drive department, I use an Orico. HD toaster. I don't even really know what to call it. Basically what this allows you to do is take bare uh, desktop hard drives and drop it into this thing and connect it to your computer. Now I use this for an archive process that I use at the end of every year. So I'm able to have different copies of everything from the year and uh, clean off my Drobo every year while still keeping all my old files. Uh, this is a bit of a, a extensive process that I can do a separate video on, but basically just know that uh, I use an Orico toaster for this as well as different Western Digital desktop drives. And then last but not least, I use an Anchor 4 USB hub that plugs into the back of the iMac. This is just nice because it pulls the uh, plugs around to the front. The only way to get to the uh, USB ports on the iMac is obviously by reaching around to the back. So this is nice because it just sits right there on your desk. I'm able to plug uh, you know, small things in there that I might need to without having to reach all the way around to the back. For my speaker system, I use a Logitech 5.1 surround sound speaker system. I got this thing honestly when I was 18, right before I went to college, and I doubt they make it anymore. Uh, but I do really enjoy having a dedicated speaker system with a subwoofer, uh, just for listening to music and things like that. I just think it's much more enjoyable of an experience than using the iMac and having to use the built-in speakers from there. And the other thing that's really nice is that it brings the uh, plug for my headphones out onto my desk through the little controller so I can plug my headphones into there as opposed to having to plug them all the way into the back of the iMac. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my desktop setup. That's all the different things that I use to make all my videos and things like that. If you're interested in any of this stuff, if you have any questions, again, there's a link in the description uh, where you can go and you can see all the different things, exactly what they are and where you can go buy them. If you have any questions, please leave that in the comments below. I'd love to answer any questions you might have. And please make sure to subscribe and to like this video. And that's always super, super helpful. So uh, thank you guys. It's been Tyler from the Harringtons and I'll see you in the next one.